Greetings, everyone. Let's dive right into the portfolio here. Right now, the portfolio is down 1%, $316. And in the after hours, I am up $3.70. So, guys, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to cover. Um, right now, there are more tariffs inside the market, and a lot of investors are continuing to sell off here. Um, you can take a look. You guys can see my portfolio down $316. So, that's a significant amount of my portfolio. It's not too bad, but um, you can see that my portfolio was once uh, 22000 like $800 something. Dollars. So, I was well on my way to $23,000, uh, and now I'm back down to $21,000. We're getting close to it. But, um, yeah, so the thing is is that there's a lot of fear in the markets right now because of these tariffs. Um, right, uh, I think today um, there was uh, tariffs placed on Mexico uh, worth about 5% of uh, Mexican goods. So a lot of investors didn't like that and um you know now we ha we are into a some sort of trading war or um trade trading no negotiations with mexico because um you know president trump feels that you know uh, these um, immigrants that are coming into the country, um, we have to put a stop to that. And, um, you know, that's what the tariffs are for. But um, the tariffs, they're all um, they're all around. Uh, so we, um, he's trying to make deals with China. There's uh, deals with, um, you know, Japan in place. But now these tariffs, tariffs with Mexico have really sort of just frightened investors and the sell off continues. Um, we're going to just talk about what's been going on in my portfolio. Um, those cover puts were looking really good at one point in time, but I ended up selling those puts and I wish I would have held on longer. Had I known that the market was going to dip like this, I probably should have held on longer, but let's, um, let's dive into the portfolio. Um, Apple 175.04. So Apple, um, continues to, uh, excuse me, continues, continues its nosedive from about 209, actually got up to 211 and Apple just continuously just falling down here. So, um, you know, Apple is a pretty good uh, company. I like them a lot still. I am down $47.25. So um, you can you guys can only imagine that I'm going to be down on a lot of my positions because the markets have been really flat um, these last couple of weeks. Um, really just been the Dow Jones is headed to about 24,000 um, points right now. So 10 shares, average cost 179, and I have not sold any Apple shares. Talking about 3M here, down um, all the way down to 159. I bought in at 165 again, guys. Um, I said that I just wanted the 3.5 dividend yield just to lock that in. But M 3M continues to fall. Uh, it's down 16%, and for the past three months, down 23%. So we are hitting bear markets with some of these stocks, and um, good time to swipe up some 3M shares if you're interested in, in you know, diversified industrials. But um, again, dividend king, the, and that 3M is. I know a lot of investors who probably bought around the 190, uh, $190 or so are probably freaking out right now because um, 3M has just had a terrible, terrible correction here, and the thing is, is that, guys, I plan on buying more. I plan on buying some more of this. Uh, I, I love 3M. I love these prices. Getting a dividend aristocrat, a dividend king at these prices is just a steal. And, um, you know, there are some concerns about um, 3M cutting their dividend, but, you know, that's the risk that you that's the risk that you have to take. I mean, 3M is a good company, and I love them in my portfolio. And right now, guys, I'm just generating more cash. Um I'm building up a cast position because um that may um yeah as you guys can see in the title uh, a cast position to me is just fantastic. Now, this is the time where I need to be building up my equity so when these stocks reach the bottom, which eventually they will, um, you know, I could start buying into these, um, buying some more shares of a company like 3M once it gets down to like $150 or so. So again, guys, I love cash position. I'm generating more cash, and Johnson and Johnson now on um, 131 dollars. My position, I bought into the high right here. Average cost 139, 10 shares. I am down 82 bucks with Johnson and Johnson, but they are going to pay a dividend, which is actually good to see. Stock price is going to drop even more, and I'm going probably going to swipe up some more shares at a at a certain amount. So I got, I'm going to um, quickly post what that certain amount is at the end of the video. Um, Johnson Johnson is another. Uh, Dividend King, Dividend Aristocrat, however you want to go about it. Um, pretty good company. I like them. Giant healthcare provider.
Um, let's take a look at Pfizer, 4152. Not a good day for them. Um, I had some puts. Um, I think I had some leverage puts for uh, Pfizer, but I ended up selling. I wish I would have held on to those puts because I would be up pretty nicely right now. Um, shares, 50. Average cost, 39.89. And I'm still up on Pfizer. So Pfizer, even in this terrible, terrible market, has sort of just... Uh, you know, it's in the past month, it's up 2%. So that's pretty good to see there. Um, up $81 for a 4%, uh, 4 percentage gain. This is probably like the only stock in my portfolio that is up right now, which is hard to believe. But, um, you know, I have I know I have some good companies in the portfolio. And it's all about guys just accumulating more cash so I can buy some of these positions. And, you know, and lower my average cost in some of these positions, AT&T, 3069. Right now, my average cost is 3075. So this is a good time to buy AT&T. So I mean, you look at uh, my average cost, 3075. If I buy, I can buy some more shares right here, get it back up to 100 shares, and then ride it all up, uh, ride the um, stock price all the way up. So equity, one, um, $1,534, portfolio diversity, 7%. And, you know, AT&T is another stock that's just going to sell. A lot of stocks... Uh, Excuse me. A lot of stocks in the stock market are um, hitting, getting hit pretty bad thanks to these tariffs and uh, the trading war. So, uh, Mo Altria forty nine oh six. Um, this is one has been um, going pretty, going down pretty much lately. Eight percent for the past month. In the past three months, it is down six percent. But in the past week, it is down five percent. I continue to hold here, and I continue to get beaten by a stick. I get, <laughs> I continue to get punched in the mouth. To minus two hundred and twenty three dollars. That's eight percent of the portfolio gone. But again, guys. Uh, Hey, I've been. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta hold, hold it out. It's not a loss until you push the sell button. So, um, you can sit here. You can just hold Altria, and if it goes down to zero, so be it. <laughs> it's not gonna go. Down, it's not gonna go down to zero. But. Um, you know, I, you know, it sucks, guys. You know, who wants to see this? Like, nobody likes to see a portfolio. Excuse me, not a portfolio. Uh, nobody wants to see a stock down uh, $223 for an 8 percentage loss. But um, I'm holding strong here. I love Autria. I love their dividend. Great time to buy. I am not selling anything. So uh, Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, obviously, since the whole markets are going down and the whole markets are selling off, this ETF is getting punched in the mouth. Let's take a look at my average cost. Nothing was sold, and I am no longer up on this uh, this ETF um, the way I was. I think I was up some uh, $1,400. Now it's down to $950 for a 15 percentage gain. So, um, yeah, um, my portfolio, portfolio diversity continues to drop. Equity continues to go down, and the markets are looking pretty bearish right now. Let's take a look at SPHD, um, $39.89. It's starting, to get cre it's starting to creep back to my average cost, which is a uh, $38.58. So it might be, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to get ready to buy some SPHD shares and get my monthly dividend, um, you know, return up. I think right now uh, it's not a good time to buy. I like to buy around my average cost or so, or perhaps even lower than that. But SPHD, Obviously, because the whole market has been selling off for the past week, down 4%, and the past month, down 6%, and the past three months, down 5%. So um, this sell-off continues to happen, but I continue to generate those dividends. The passive income here, just trying to pull it up. It's not pulling up for me. But anyway, you guys can see uh, $15.11. Not really sure why it's not pulling up. Uh, well, there it is, 100 shares. Uh, I like the uh, excuse me. I like the ETF. Has a pretty high dividend yield, and um, you know it, this might actually might be a good good time to start a position if you uh, like this ETF. But I'm gonna wait it out. Like again, guys, um, cash advantages. I'm trying to accumulate ca as much cash as possible. My buying power is only three thirty, but I have a grand just sitting in my bank account, and um, eventually I'm gonna transfer that one thousand dollars to the Robinhood portfolio. But um, you know my my thing is this. I'm going to generate $2,000 worth of cash, uh, a cash position, and then I really don't want to go, like, go down, excuse me, go below that $2,000 of, uh, of my position in cash. And the reason why is because um, it'll give me more safety so when I really see something that I want that goes on sale, I can just buy it up. That's going to be the portfolio, guys. Uh, you guys can see that my portfolio is getting absolutely destroyed here. Um, it's getting really serious, but I continue to hold. Um, let's take a look at my stock notes. Position adding, Robinhood. You guys, um, this is actually um, something I just um, 
did did differently that I wanted to include in the video. Um, you guys can see what I'm trying to do here, position adding. So when I actually want to add or an ideal price that I want to add to as far as my stocks, you can take a look at Apple, 150 or lower, 3M, 145 or lower, Johnson & Johnson's 125 or lower. I feel very comfortable adding to my positions when those when the stocks hit those prices. Uh, Pfizer, 35 or lower, AT&T, 31 or lower, which is actually 31, um, $30.69, so a good time to buy AT&T. Um, Autria, $40 or lower, so again, it's at $49 right now, and I'm just waiting for it to hit like $40 or so. Probably won't happen, but if it does, I'm ready to buy. VTI, 120 or lower. I doubt that happens, but we'll see. And SPHD, $38 or lower. And we can see that um, SPHD is right now it's at $39, so it's almost time to buy. Uh, let's take a look at my dividends. I actually uh, see January and in the next three months. Um, total payout for the month, $55. Um, you can see that for my shares, I think I might have sitting at a 5 between a five six percentage yield, SPHD between a five, it's gonna be a four or five percentage yield, and you guys can see how much money I'm gonna be paid for that month, February and three months out, April, um, excuse me, February and three months out, Apple at a one um one through two percentage yield, um, I'm gonna get eight dollars from them, um, that's just an estimation, eight dollars, um, I don't know if they're gonna like you know slightly cut their dividend or what they're going to do. I doubt they are. Um, at and I'm between a 6 and 7 dividend yield, uh, $25 on them. And SPHD, I always get $15 every month because it pays monthly. And a monthly total payout for February and three months on out is $48. So we could take a look at March and three months. Johnson & Johnson will pay $9. Pfizer will pay $18. 3M, I did miss their dividend um their ex dividend. I missed the ex dividend date, and I, I did not qualify for that dividend. But it would have had been uh, fifteen dollars and VTI and SPHD thirty eight dollars and fifteen dollars respectively. Um, total month uh, monthly total payout is ninety five dollars. So um, that's a really good month for me to compound that um, to compound my investments because I'm getting close to a hundred dollars worth of dividends, which is pretty good to see. And if you take the total of ninety five forty eight and fifty five, we get a median of $55 every single month. So that was that's what that means. Um, the portfolio is generating $55 every single month. So that's going to wrap the video up, guys. Um, you guys can see that um, how I'm trying to just plan to um, really just essentially ta attack the market when with my shares by um, at all-time lows. You know, I'm just waiting for Apple to hit that 150 mark. 3M is headed down to 145. It's already at 159. Johnson & Johnson, it looks like it's going to get down to 125, which is a pretty good buying point for me. Um, AT&T already had a good buying point. Austria is still looking good, but I'm going to buy around $40 or so. And my high dividend ETFs, um, I don't know if they're going to actually reach those prices, but um, you guys can see what I'm planning. Um, that's going to do it for the video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.